got a bunch of people logging in from around the world. So welcome to all the different countries that have joined us. I know there's some translation happening. So we'll do our best to not speak very fast. So guys, I'm gonna get straight into it because we have a very, very special guest on our webinar today. This gentleman, funnily enough, I actually remember when he first hit senior rep and I sent a message, private message to him to congratulate him on Facebook. And then I realized I sent it to the wrong George first. <laughs> and then when I met this guy, I kept on hearing about him and I realized that I had actually met him previously because the first guy that showed him World Ventures in 2009 is a good friend of mine, is someone that I worked with personally. And this guy, so World Ventures, he'll share his story better than me, but he's so World Ventures, didn't say yes straight away, but then he saw the company expand further and further and further over the next few years. And when he got started, he didn't get off to the fastest start, but we know on this journey, it's not how you start the race, it's how you finish the race. He didn't get off to the fastest start because of something that he missed in the formula. He's the best one to talk about that. But when he found that missing link in the formula, he just skyrocketed. And literally, since he's joined World Ventures, consistently, this guy has been in the top 10 income earners and usually the top five income earners in all of Europe. He's an IMD, he's a night trainer. And guys, I believe most of you know him. If you don't, you gotta remember his name, IMD. Giorgio Gio in the house. Welcome, George Moo. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I see people from different parts of the world. I don't know what time is in your city right now, but here it's uh, 11 a.m. And I have to be honest, it's been a long time to make a call at 11 a.m. in the morning. Usually I wake up at 10.30 and having my coffee. But honestly, when Frosini asked me to do this call, uh, I couldn't say no, honestly. Um, I have so much admiration and respect for Frosini for what he did for us even before we joined World Ventures. So thank you so much for everything you did and you're doing for, for the whole team. And guys, good morning there. Just type down, what is the chat? Just type down. Boom, where are you coming from? I see people from uh, Lithuania, Ukraine, and different places of the world, which is, I believe it's too cold over there. I'm lucky that I'm with the t-shirt. So guys, uh, first of all, good morning, and thanks for joining this call uh, for today. And uh, I had, that's funny. Uh, I was last night at home, and I had some, some friends, they came here for wine, and we had, uh, talk about businesses and different things. And at some point, one of them, he asked me, man, I, I, you're not tired. I mean, aren't you tired? You're doing this the last eight years. You're traveling almost three, four different times per month, even for business, even for, for vacation. And he said, that you're not tired. I mean, you don't want to take a break. <clears throat> and I said, honestly, I will never change what I'm doing today to go back to what I was before. I mean, I, I prefer 1000% traveling eight times a month than waking up at eight o'clock in the morning, go to the job, take permission for somebody else to go to the toilet, have a lunch break, go back to the job, finish at seven o'clock PM, go home, sleep, and the next day the same thing. I feel like right now I'm in the best phase of my life ever. And I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, what I'm living today is something that uh, I would never imagine that I'm going to live. And keep in mind that what I just said is not coming from somebody that he used to work a traditional job. I mean, I was on TV for, for three, four years. Um, I had a really good lifestyle. I mean, World Ventures didn't change my lifestyle. World Ventures improved my lifestyle. So I had a good life also before World Ventures. Obviously, I, I wasn't making the money that I'm making today, but I'm talking about lifestyle and the way I was living. And, but what I have today is something that I, I cannot trade with anything else. And the most important thing is that today, I have more excitement than the 
the day I started. And I know that most of you right now, you will say, yes, George, you're making thirty, forty thousand dollars a month. How not to be excited? You have the cars you own, you have the house you own, you have the lifestyle you own. How not to be excited? No, I'm not excited because of that. I'm excited for what's coming. Listen to that. I'm not excited for what I have today. I'm excited for what's coming the next year's inward ventures. For those of you that you don't know my story, I started in 2011. Uh, back then, I was a TV show presenter. I have seen the presentation in 2009. When Frosini and George brought the company in Cyprus, uh, a guy that he, was, he used to work with me in the, in the TV station, um, he invited me to show me World Ventures. That was in 2009, even before the official launch of the company in Cyprus. Um, when I saw it, honestly, I couldn't catch the vision. I couldn't believe that something like this is, is real. I mean, at that time, I was on TV. That was my best face on, on TV. I was almost every two, three weeks on magazines. And I was something aware. I, I couldn't focus. I couldn't see it. So I didn't see it. And in 2011, after watching the presentation, almost 17 different times for different people, I decided to join without, without presentation. And the reason I decided to join without presentation, it was before, because I compared the progress of my life during the last, those last two years, and I saw no change. And I compare my life to people that they used to invite me in World Ventures during those two years, and I saw a progress in their life. Maybe they traveled more times. Maybe they stopped their tech second job. Maybe they started earning a serious money, uh, money in, 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 from the business. So when I compare this thing, I realize that this shit works, and it works big time for those that they want to work on it. And honestly, the reason I joined, it was because I didn't want to miss out. You know, I am Gustavo Brazilian is, is my cousin. We, we grew up together. We are not just cousins. I mean, we were always like, like, like brothers. And when I realized that this guy is starting making serious money, I said, I love him, but I don't believe that after two or three years, he will be making $10,000. That was my limited belief. $10,000 and I'm gonna still work on TV and earning like thousand or two thousand dollars per month. That's why I started. So I started part time, but as many times I've said, karma is a bitch, <laughs> and I truly believe that. I mean, for two years I was one of the most negative people about what they just imagine that at some point I was a co-partner, co-owner in a bar in, in Limassol, in my city, and I remember they organized a party. I mean, the travel, the, the, the old ventures people, they organized a travel a party, not a travel party, a party. And when they came to the club, uh, I was laughing on them. And that was the guy that I was, I was like, have you become a millionaire yet? Have you traveled the world yet? I was this kind of guy. So when I started, I had to pay back what I was doing to them. And I believe that in my first four, the reason that in my first four months, I had zero results. And more than 80 knows, it was because karma is a bitch. And I, had to, and I had to pay back what I was doing. So uh, long story short, in my first four months, I was building this business part-time. I was working two jobs, graphic designer and the TV show. And I had more than 80 knows. I signed up one person the day, the next day I started. And that was my best friend that we were planning to open a business together. And when I told him, just trust me, give me $360. He gave me the money, and that's how I, I signed him up. But after him, I had more than 80 no's in my first four months. I paid four monthly fees in my first four months. And I was every single day at the travel parties, at the presentations. Because some of you right now, you believe that it took me four months to, to get qualified but I wasn't there. No, I was there. I was the main presenter at the travel parties. I was there close to the fire. And the worst thing is that I was watching other people having progress in the business. I was watching other people that I didn't believe that they can do it. Starting after me and going super fast, senior, going super fast, director, 
got sick super fast. And I was there, I was presenting every single day and no after no after no after no after no after no. So 17th of December 2011, 16th of December 2011, I went to a travel party and I was waiting uh, for a guy. Now, I want you to think about the person. I'm sure that it happened to most of you. I want you to think about the person that you invited once and you believe that if this person join, it's done. I'm going IMD. How many of you have had invited this kind of person that you were sure that if you say yes, it's done. You find your first person, your first date. So this, is, this was a guy. I invited him. He came. I went outside of the club, of the, present, of the travel party to, to bring him in. And when he came into the venue and he watched the logo of World Ventures, he goes like, okay, you're stupid. You invited me here to see World Ventures. And he left. And that was the day that I said, enough. I'm done. This is not for me. So. I left and the next day I had a big accident. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into this story now. And fast forward, in this period that I was mentally out of World Ventures, something happened and I went to a training in January 2012. I went to this training and this training meant to be the transformation on my business. I went out of this, of this training. I got six people in a week. I hit senior in a month. I hit senior 30 days later. I hit, sorry, I hit senior. I got, get, I, got, I got six a week after the training. I got senior 30 days after the training. I got director 30 days later and marketing director 30 days later. So it took me seven months to go senior and three months from senior to marketing director. So, and then the game was on. I mean, after that, uh, I went marketing director. I went marketing director in, 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 in three months from senior. And in a year from the day I started, I was earning approximately eight to $10,000 a month from World Ventures doing it part-time. The team at that time was 2,000 people within a year. So I decided to quit my full-time job. Since 2012, I don't know what alarm clock is. Since 2012, I wake up when I want, wherever I want. And I'm, I'm so grateful for this. I mean, the team today, it's almost 100,000 people joined the team today. And it's growing in more than 30, 35 countries. I don't know. And when I'm saying countries, I'm talking about countries that is not just a member, but we have at least senior rep. So the team is growing super fast. And imagine that I've never signed up anyone outside of Cyprus within the first five years of the business. I couldn't speak English anyway before when I started. So, and that's why I love the network marketing system. This is a system that doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how many people you know, doesn't matter what kind of knowledge you have, doesn't matter anything. All it matters are three things that I'm gonna tell you today. Honestly, it's people tend to make network marketing look like you become a doctor, but it's super simple. I didn't say it's easy, okay? I didn't say that it's easy. Uh, you, if we sit down and try to speak together regarding the, the obstacles I found to become an IMD, I can tell you stories and stories for hours and hours. If you sit down with a Frosini and ask her, what are the obstacles that you have? She can speak for hours to you. So I didn't say it's easy to become an IMD. I didn't say it's easy to make six figures a month, but it's simple. And people tend to make things super, super, super hard and super, super complicated. I don't know why most of you guys, you try to complicate things, but it's super simple. If you keep it simple, you can run way faster. I can tell you that within my first four months, one of the reasons that I didn't have the success and the results I wanted to have it was because I was trying to complicate things. When I realized that it's super simple and I just have to do the simple things, say the super simple words, even on invitation, I could make things happen. So the most important thing is try to make things simple. 
keep following the simple formula. Now, number one thing that I believe is going to take you, the, your business, to the next level, and it's a thing that it will never get you feel tired or to slow down. And that's excitement. I spoke in the beginning about excitement, but honestly, I believe that excitement is one of the most important things if you want to build this business. When I was in the company, the first four months, having no results, the reason I stayed in was because I was excited. And honestly, if you have had the chance to come to a travel party back then, but I was the main presenter of the travel party, you could see that I was excited. Nobody knew that I had more than 80 notes. Honestly now, nobody could understand that I had more than 80 notes. There were people coming in the venue, watch the presentation, they were seeing me presenting, and, and they had, had the feeling that I was super successful because my excitement wasn't coming from here. My excitement was coming from here, it was coming from my heart. It was actual excitement. Now, some of you, you're gonna wonder, okay, what the fuck? How can you be excited when you have four months full of failure, four months full of no's? How can you be excited? I can't tell you why I was excited. I was excited because I knew that I have something in my hand that if I unlock it, my life will be totally different than what most of the people are living out there. I was there. I had zero results. But I was watching people next to me living the life. I was watching people next to me in the same vehicle with me living the life that 99% of the people out there, they cannot even imagine. I knew that if I unlock what I have in my hand, I can be making not just shit load of money, but I can wake up whenever I want. I can go whenever I want, wherever I want, and I can live the ultimate life. That was the reason I was excited. Because whenever I was trying to compare the life I was living with what I can have in the future, that was fucking excited. I mean, how can you, if today you are working for somebody else, and no, no, nothing but with the fact that you work for somebody else, but how can you work for somebody else today? Whatever job you do, I don't care what job is it, okay? and you are excited and you work to the job every single morning and you give your all just to get your salary and when you have in the other part an opportunity that it's yours and if you unlock it and make it happen you can do whatever the fuck you want to do and you are not excited and you can even think for a second that you are about to quit honestly i believe that's quite red. But I believe that if you quit on that, the chances to do something as an entrepreneur in your life successfully are really low. There are chances, but are really low. Because entrepreneurship, it's easier when you work with others. If you sit down today, and speak with successful entrepreneurs that they have built it on their own business, I can tell you that they had way harder time than I had, that the Frosini had, that any other successful leader in World Ventures had. I can promise you that. I have talked almost every week with successful entrepreneurs all over the world. And when I see what they have gone through to make it happen, and the most important reason because they were alone, Oh my God, here in the difficult times, I have so many people to lock arms and work together. When, when, when I was not even single and I had those 80 no's, I have had people around me that were pushing me not to quit, but to go and succeed. But the excitement was there just because I was comparing what I can have and what I have today. What I can have if I quit and what I can have today. And just to make it super simple, I truly believe that if in December 2012, 11, sorry, I didn't have this accident, okay, that took me like two or three weeks in the hospital, and some things happened to, for me to go to this training, today my life definitely was going to be worse 
than what used to be back then. I truly believe that. So you need to have this excitement, okay? You need to have this excitement naturally come from inside out. That's how people will follow you. That's how you can create the urgency that need to have in order to be this business. I mean, some of you, you're trying to invite people with the dream giver car and your excitement or the level of urgency is below zero. You can't do that. You can't do that. You, you need to have the excitement. You need to create urgency and, and excitement brings the urgency. When you, you have zero excitement, how can you create urgency about something? You can't. So you need to have these things. You need to have the excitement just to stay in the game. You need to have the excitement just when the hard times come in order not to show to your downlines or to your friends or to the people around you that you are not succeeding. Nobody outside of World Ventures for my first four months knew that I was suffering, knew that I had zero results. Nobody, because I was excited. And that's how you're going to move on and move on and move on all the time. Now, number one thing is excitement. Number two, Training. I mean, if I wouldn't go to this training, uh, 12th of January, sorry, 21st of January, 2011, 2012, it was a super Saturday, just like 200 people, I wouldn't be here today. I went to this training, and trust me, guys, there are few words. That is one thing that you're going to listen or you're going to see at the event, that it's going to be the shifting moment of your business. Trust me. It's a simple thing that you cannot imagine right now that it will happen during a training, but it's going to be a shifting point to your career. And this is not going to happen once. It happened in my first training, it happened a year later in another tra training, it happened another time in another training, it happened another time in another training, it happened three years ago when I was on a phase that I was 80 people away from IMD, I went back to, to, to RMD, almost marketing director, because I've lost a big part of my business. I went to a training, it was another thing that it happened, and boom! explode the team. So training in something that you need to follow, not just in the beginning of the business, <coughs> excuse me, but during your career. I can tell you that by the time I went to my first training in 2012, I don't remember that I have missed Definitely, I've never missed uh, an international event. Some of them I went twice or three times in different continents every year. But I don't remember that I have missed a training happening around my city or even my country. When I was in Cyprus and I was director or I was marketing director and there was a super Saturday in Athens, which is two hours flights from here, I was going to take a flight take my key players with me and fly to this training. Because I knew that I needed this training. First of all, I needed this training, but my people needed it as well. See, it's not about you. It's about you and your team. But first it's you. Some of you, you are not going to the next training because your team is not going. So I went to trainings alone. I went to this first training alone. I went to my next training as a senior, okay, alone. But then I realized the power of not going alone, the power of bringing more people with me in order to find my soldiers, in order to, to build a team and go. But you need to go alone to create your alone story in order for others to follow you. So training for me is a must thing. It's a must thing to start your business. It's a must thing to elevate your business. It's a must thing to elevate yourself. It's a must thing to take yourself and others to the next level. So I know, Kate, that um, next weekend, you guys going to have, I believe that this training, it's going to be the training of the year. Honestly, I truly believe that this training, that you have the chance to have next weekend, 
it's going to be probably the training of the years. And those of you that you know me, I'm not bullshitting people, honestly. When I don't feel something, I'm not going to say it. I'm not the kind of person that likes to make things look wow. I'm just straightforward, okay? And I'm not bullshitting you right now. I truly believe that this training is going to be the training of the year. And just to know the reason that I'm not bullshitting you, I'm sending people as well from my countries around there in this training. So if I knew that this training is not going to be the right training, I wouldn't send my people. I was going to people and train them. Wow, that's me. So, um, so yeah, this training is going to be uh, the next weekend, okay, 7th of December uh, in, uh, sorry, in, in Lithuania. And trainers are going to be IMD Stavrozinonos and Efrosini. I feel like I don't need to edify Efrosini to you. Most of you know them. And I feel like I don't need to edify Stavros to you because most of you know, you know them. But let me tell you something. It doesn't mean that you know their story. It doesn't mean that some of you, you know them personally, that this training is not the training that is going to change your business. Trust me. I know that Stavros today, okay, he's working harder than he was working a year ago or two years ago. I can tell you, we are every day together, okay? We were two months ago on a 20 days trip together in 15 different countries. We came back and since that time, he tra already traveled to five different, four different countries to work with, not to train, to work with. He's in the game right now. I mean, he's more on fire than never before. And I'm sure that he gonna come there with a totally different new topics to share with you, to show you how simple it is and what it takes to go from nothing to IMD. Now, Efrosini, I'm fucking sure that you wanna blow the room away. I mean, you know here, okay, you know, the, the skills that she had, you know, the leadership skills that she had. She, she, and she's coming to the markets that she's working together all the time. I can tell you, when you go into your markets and you know exactly what the needs of your markets are, those are the best trainings. Because you hit the nail and you say exactly what needs. So the right people, if you are the right person and listen to those things, boom, you just have to be there. Now, you have two chances to go alone and listen to those things or to bring shit load of people with you to find the one that is going to be the next one. Because you need to understand that this business is about to find the one that is going to be the next one. It's simple as that. It's not about you becoming the one. It's about find the one that is going to be the next one. What are you looking for in this room? you about to find the one who's going to be the next Davrosino who's going to be the next Efrosin, who's going to be the next anyone. That's the reason you're going to those trainings. That's the reason I'm bringing a lot of people to the training. And I'm playing with the numbers. You have heard us many times talking about numbers. And most of you, you believe that number games, numbers game is just the game of, of sorting, people, sorting people to join the business. Well, it's not just like that. I'm sorting the numbers to find the people who are going to join my business. So it's some way, some what, so what. But at the same time, I'm sorting numbers on the training. My some will, some won't, so what is not just about joining, it's also about coming to the training. So if I have 100 people in my team, I'm going to promote to 100 people to find who's going to come to the next training. Some will, some what, so what. Why? Because I will find the one that is going to be the next one. And you're always going to find the one through those trainings. During those trainings, you want to see, okay, in the eyes of someone that I'm going to be the next one. And that's how you make this business a pleasure and not painful. Some of you today, you feel tired. You know why? Because you are working with the wrong people. You are working with the wrong people. And if you work with, your, with the wrong people, that business is not a pleasure. So honestly, today, I'm not working with people that don't bring in pleasure to my life. I don't want to do three-way call for somebody that doesn't bring pleasure to my life. I don't want to work with somebody. Even if I don't sponsor someone if he don't bring pleasure to my life. Two days ago, 
I had the wife of my best friend in my house. And they are not so negative, not, not so positive about World Ventures, not negative, they are neutral. And I gave them one card. And I shared the story yesterday to the girl from my team that I gave the card to this um, best friend of mine. And she goes like, why is this sent here up? And I said, because she's not bringing pleasure to my life. I don't want to have her in my business. I don't want to work with her because she's, she's not interested. Now the same thing happened with the people that are in. Some of you have people in your business that they are paying your in, in the ass and you try to push them to work. No, go find somebody else and make this business pleasure. That's what I'm doing. And the way, the reason, the way to find the people that are going to make your business pleasure is through the trainings. You bring them there, they see the big picture, they take a decision, and then they are next to you and they're your shadow, and it's a pleasure to work with. So honestly, guys, if you haven't booked this training and you see this business seriously, and when I'm saying seriously, probably you've heard me uh, many times talking about uh, building uh, what, what career is and what hobby is, and hobby is doing what you want and spending money, okay? So do what you, what you love and spending money. If, if you love world ventures, but it's a hobby, it's okay, it's cool. You go to the trainings, you go travel, you go have fun, but you pay money. But career is doing what you love and getting paid. So I'm traveling, but I'm getting paid. I'm doing trainings, but I'm getting paid. I'm working, but I'm getting paid. So I'm building world ventures as a career. If you are here to build this as a career and you are not registered yet to this training, if you don't want to lie to yourself, go and book it. It's simple as that. I mean, it's impossible. It's insane for me knowing that the path to go and make money is that way. And instead of that way, I'm going that way and I'm expecting to succeed. It's impossible. I mean, how can you believe that you can succeed if you don't go to a training with two people that the one makes over $100,000 a month, the other one makes over $50,000 a month, and you believe that you can sort it out how it works? It's impossible. So just book it and go. Because you don't know if you're going to be the one who's going to be the next one. And now if you're already booked and you are chilling and you are not promoting to your people, you just found out what you need to do in order to elevate your business. Now, if you don't have people to bring with you, you just found out what you have to do. You just need to sign up six until seven and take them there with you. And I promise you, if you sign up new, new people, I don't care where are, you, where are you from. I don't care if you have to take a plane flight two hours or five hours to go to this training. If you sign up new people, get them in a plane to fly to another city or to another country for a training, this weekend, the chances to find the one who's going to be the next one are way higher than bring all people with you to the train. Because you're going to bring fresh mind, fresh list, fresh people to a training that they will see something that they have never seen in their life. I'm not going to say more about this training. If we are talking the same language, if you are listening the same music like me, if you are excited like me about the future of World Ventures, that's the way. If you don't, good luck. I, I love there is a quote on Instagram. Uh, probably you, most of you have seen it. And it says, it's quite red, but it's cool. Go fucking at the fucking McDonald's. I love this. I love, I love this. I love this quote. But that's the reality. That's the reality. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to live the ultimate lifestyle, that's the way. You need, to do, you need to do something that you've never done in the past in order to have something that you never have in the future. It's simple as that. So number two is the training. And number three thing that brought me where I am today, and honestly, guys, I don't see myself as the smartest person in the world, but I see myself and someone who's smart enough to work smart. Again, I don't see myself as the smartest person in the world. I wasn't the master, master kid in the school. Trust me, in school, I was an average student. I had 
I had, I was the one who was getting in the class last and I was the one that was leaving the class first. Always. I didn't give a shit about those things. I'm not the smartest kid. I was never a class student. Never. But I'm smart enough to work smart. And I'm smart enough to use my tools. When somebody gives me a tool that can help me to achieve something, I'm using this tool to the max. To the max. Honestly, some of you, you feel that you are super smart, that you try to reinvent the wheel. I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I just want to take the wheel and roll it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Honestly, I will tell you something. Some of you are not green at all. Some of you, you buy a new iPhone and you spend hours and hours and hours in order to find how this iPhone works if you're coming from, from a Samsung, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the leaflet and, I'm, and, and uh, the manual and I'm not green at all, I hate reading. Really. I'm gonna take the leaflet, the manual, I'm gonna find what I need and I'm just gonna do it because I don't wanna spend time. I wanna, if I wanna do something, I'm gonna find the right things, I'm gonna use it the right way in order to succeed fast. Simple as that. Now, I was always using my tools, always using my tools. I remember I went, listen to that. I went from senior to marketing director after seven months of failure in three months period with no platinum, with no fast pass. Just got, just lineage per lineage. 400 real people joined the business in less than three months. And then I saw people having platinum Okay, the platinum that counts twice and going, some of them going super fast from nothing to marketing director, from nothing to director, and some people having the platinum and they still qualify. And when you tell them, why don't you use the platinum? They say, mm, people don't have money. Cool. For you, people don't have money to join platinum, but for somebody else, people have money to join platinum and then they're going super fast, senior director, marketing director, IMDs. Then I saw the fast pass. The fast pass came like two years ago. And for those of you that don't know it's fast pass, um, it's a promo that the company has that if you signed up for product only, for customers only, then every customer that joins your business counts as 1.5, more in your lineage, which means that you can go faster to the ranks. Now I know people, but they want to see themselves like leaders, but they are not fast pass qualified. Now, some of you, you are wondering how the fuck by the RN Glenda, two IMDs from my team, went from nothing to IMD in less than 21 months in countries with 200,000 people population. I will tell you what, they were smart enough to work smart. And they were signing up people platinum, and some of them just product only. So instead of going IMD with 3,000 people, they went IMD with 1,000 people. Simple as that. They used their tools. Now, the company, like two days ago, ah, thank you for seeing me. The money go of our call. So you can see what's going on here. Company announced three days ago, the ignition kit. Now, for those of you that you know, don't know what the ignition kit is, it's a kit that the company created to elevate our business for 2020. It includes 10 digital cards. Okay, by the time I got my ignition kit, I already gave my 10 ignition, my 10 digital cards away. So 10 digital cards, seven speeches from seven international United trainers of our company, plus Mr. Mark Aceda. And the most important for me is this, the fact that if you purchase the ignition kit, then you are qualified to get plus one lineage for every new enrollment happens in your business. Now, let me, let me explain you something. That's, it. That's something that it, most of you maybe don't understand. This is way better than the fast pass because fast pass you had to sign up customers only, which means they cannot produce 
more people. Here, you become a initial kit upgrader and every enrollment, every enrollment that happens in your business by that time counts plus one. That means that you can go way faster to the runs. That's the good news. The bad news is that until the end of December. So you have like 30 days in front of you to, to run way faster to your runs. So if Rosini here is showing us that uh, with platinum sales plus ignition kit, if someone is zero zero today, with 134 people can go marketing directly. Now listen, it took me to go marketing director three months, from senior to marketing director in three months, not with 134 people, not with 200 people, but with 400 people. Honestly, I needed more people to go marketing director back then that you guys need today to go RMD. You can go RMD with 300 people. And I went marketing director back then with 400 people. Just because you spend $99 to become ignition kit purchaser, upgrader, having those 10 cars, a tool to invite people, training system that you can educate yourself. I had a director from my team from Greece that her business is stuck for the last five months. I had a talk with her almost every day. I was telling her what she needs to change. And yesterday she called me and she said, I've heard something in an audio from the ignition kit that I realized that what you were saying to me the last five months. And yesterday she signed up somebody and she restarted her business, ignite her business. Simple as that, $99 and getting the chance to run faster to the next run. $99 to change your whole business. $99 that anyway, the value of what the company is giving you is way more than $99. Now, some of you, because you are smart as and trying to reinvent the wheel, you are waiting to see when are you going to have an enrollment in your business in order to upgrade and get the, the, the ignition key. How stupid can you be? Honestly, I mean, I had a talk yesterday with a guy. He called me and he said, George, I, I need to hit the next run by the end of the year. And I said, cool. Have you purchased the ignition key? And he goes, not now. I'm waiting to have the first enrollment. And I said, okay hang up the phone and don't call me again and speak about this business if you don't use your tools. I mean, I was for a coffee with my friend. I led my friend away to speak with this stupid guy to tell him that he wants to go to the next trunk, but he's waiting for an next enrollment to join his business in order to invest in his business. I don't wanna, I don't wanna work with these guys. And if you are this kind of guy, <clears throat> better go McDonald's again. I'm gonna say the same thing again. So you have this ignition key. I will tell you what, Using the tools and taking action, for me, is the finest formula to take this business to the next level. And every time there is a next level. In my career today, there is again the next level. What I'm doing, I'm using my tools and I'm taking action. I want you to do something. I want you to take a pen right now, take a pen. And I want you to write down a goal that you want to achieve by the end of the year. What is the one thing? What is the goal that you want to achieve by the end of the year? You have 30 days in front of you, 30 days. Those 30 days, it's gonna define your 2020. Some of you right now, you stop doing anything because you are frustrated with your goals, with your, your, with your, with your, with your car, with, your, with what you're doing right now, and you're just waiting the first of the year to restart the business. How you're gonna finish 2019? It's gonna define how you're gonna start 2020. Write down what is the goal that you want to achieve by the end of the year. Maybe it's the next rank. Maybe it's 20 new lineage in your team. Maybe it's 30 new lineage in your team. Maybe it's 100. Maybe it's a 300 new lineage in your team. I don't know what is it. Write down the goal that you want to achieve the next 30 days. Cool? Listen to that. You just wrote down what you want to achieve. And 
what you wrote down can become easier and you can achieve it easier if you just purchase the ignition key. If you wrote down 19 new people, 19 new leads in my team, you can purchase the ignition kit and you can hit it with 60 people. You are smart enough to do what it needs to achieve your goal. Number one. Number two, you need to work your ass off. Simple as that. I don't care. It's Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas for me as well. It's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas for the first year as well. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's for me as well. But you know what's the difference? In New Year's Eve, I will spend a shitload of money celebrate it. And some of you, you're going to be at home, celebrate New Year's Eve the way it is. Nothing, no problem at all, honestly. But in order to celebrate the way I celebrate New Year's Eve, I was doing what I'm going to tell you right now. The last 30 years of the, of the, of the year, for some of you, it's a period that you cannot invite people because they are busy for shopping and focus on different things. For me, it's the best timing to invite people because most of the people, they are not going to the job because they have the holidays. Some people, they have, for you, in, the, in your mind, they don't have money because they spend their money on other things. I will tell you that in this period of people, people getting in the spending mode and they spend way more easier money than, than before. For some of you, it's a period that you wanna chill, but for some others, it's a period that they wanna break records. Listen to me, those 30 days, it's going to be a break, break, record-breaking period for your business. And for some of you, it's going to be a breaking period for your binary. Some of you will explode your binary, and some of you, you will break down your binary. And what, 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 what it takes to explode your binary? 30 days action. For those of you that you are in sport, I will tell you the perfect analogy, what those 30 days are. Do you believe that sports teams, Football, basketball, volleyball, I don't know what is it, okay? They start working on the first day of the championship or they start working a month before the beginning of the championship to get in shape and get into the championship on fire. If you don't know about sport, let me tell you what's going on. If the championship begins 1st of June, the teams started working out a month earlier to get in shape, to prepare themselves to start the championship on fire. Now listen to that. The key players of a team is not, are not starting the preparation the same day with the rest of the team. They work way before in order to be the first ones in the preparation and make the difference during the championship. Our championship begins on 1st of January. What are you gonna do these 30 days in order to be in shape by the beginning of the championship? Some of you, you're gonna start the championship and you will be way back, way far from, from us. And then you're gonna wonder why I'm not cycling like George, why I'm not cycling like Afrosini, why I'm not cycling like Justina. Just because we prepare ourselves to get shape and be in fire, your next 30 days are going to define your 2020. Choose what you're going to do. You're going to go these 30 days and break records, or you're going to go out, drink, and break your binary. It's up to you. I promise you, we are here to break records. I love you so much, guys. It was a pleasure to do a training on Saturday morning with you. For me, it's time to go and do some more calls. For you, it's time to take action. I love you all, and I will see you soon somewhere in this world. Ciao.